The question is how to digitize audio using a Mac and, and preferably open source software because this is boing boing after all. So Mark over at Boing Boing put out a lazy web request which is basically I can't be bothered to Google this and do all the research because I know all of my viewers and followers have already done this. What I use is Soundflower. From their project page on Google Code, Soundflower is a Mac OS system extension that allows you to pass the audio through other applications. So basically it takes the audio that's playing and instead of spitting it out through the speakers it will transport that into a recording stream. I use Snow Leopard QuickTime X to just record the audio. So I don't have to install any new programs, I don't have to use any software that is not built into the built into the operating system. So first we gotta install Soundflower. So you go to code.google.com slash p slash soundflower and it's licensed under general public v2 just click downloads and click the top dmg file you have a new option under system preferences called soundflower and that's under sound input soundflower so that just means that we're telling the system to use soundflower as the only audio input so then you go to QuickTime Player and Snow Leopard, QuickTime X, new audio recording. In the drop down, you want to make sure your uh, input is Soundflower 2 channel. You go to YouTube, go to NPR, you use the USB digital turntable software, record that audio. With Soundflower and Snow Leopard, that's the minimum amount of programs and installations you need to digitize your LPs. And you get the closest thing to the LP. You're not using any other programs to filter or get rid of the hisses and noises and scratches. That's part of the joy of LP. So, of course, you want to digitize that. 